Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss how can we see the responses of the test submitted by the students in GoFormative. How can we make the settings like students can see the score after submission of the test. Students can see the correct answer after submission of the test. And how can we edit manually the marks of the students if somewhere we want to do partial marking. Here I have assigned these two tests to my students. Uh, I am talking about the first test now. This test and uh, you will see this table before the test and here you will find a number. It means that the test has been submitted by these students and the score also uh, returned to these students. You can see the message score return. Now if I click here I will get the option adjust settings. So I will go to the adjust settings and here I would like to tell you that these two settings are important if you want to return the scores to the students and if you want to return the correct answers to the students. By default these two settings are disabled. I am taking a new formative to show you uh, example. I have taken a new formative and I am not uh, adding any question here. Just I want to uh, show you settings. So I will click on the assign and if I want to assign this test to the students of class 11th then you will find the uh, option adjust settings here too. This option is available here too. So I will click on this option and here you can see these settings are by default don't show score and don't show answers. So if we do not change these settings the students will not be able to see the correct answers and their score after submission of the test. So always remember that keep this setting as keep visible and here we can take the option uh, after sub students submit instantly do not show scores and when close. So these four options are available here. If I take after student submits then students will be able to show the uh, to see the score just after submission of the test instantly just after attempting the uh, quiz and uh, or particular question. Do not show score uh, it will uh, students will not be able to see the scores and when close means when you close the particular assignment. So here I am taking the option after student submit that is more uh, relevant as I think and uh, returns a correct answer here also I take the option after students submit. So these uh, two settings are important and you can do while assigning the test and uh, go to the option adjust settings uh, here. So this is the way to mark the settings of the assignment. So I am now we will discuss how can we see the responses of the assignment that have been submitted by the students. So for this purpose uh, we have two ways to see the responses submitted by the students. First I will talk the first method. This is the test for which I want to see the responses. So I will click here the students have submitted the test and I will click here this arrow and I will get these two options and I will click on the option view responses. Here I will see this kind of a structure and the students have submitted their test and these are the marks. Green symbol indicate the correct answer given by the students and red indicate the wrong answer given by the students. Uh, friends in this test I have given only two questions. So uh, this is a, a students marked correct answer for both questions and this students correct uh, one uh, gave one incorrect answer. So if I want to uh, see the answers of individual students for all the questions what will I do? I will click on name. Friends here I have hidden the name for privacy purpose and this option is available here. You can hide or show the names of the students by using this show names option. So this is the students whose test I want to see. So I click on the name and his test will appear here. This is the first question. The student secured one mark. This is the second question. Student secured one mark. 
so in this way i can see the marks of the um, i can see the uh, questions of the students that have been submitted by them this uh, now we can do the partial marking here if uh, in any question the student is, is getting zero mark and you find that partial answer is correct then you can give the partial marks that is not available in the google form so how can we do it suppose this student uh, is not getting the mark for this question zero mark is zero is here so if i find that something is correct in his answer i can assign 0.5 mark by using uh, this method so here i have assigned 0.5 mark you can see the score is 75.75% 75 for this student so this is the way we can assign the partial marks to the students for uh, uh, half corrected answer so uh, if also when i click on the one question then you can see one is here if i want to see the second question of the same student i will click on this arrow and the second question will appear so this is the way we can see the responses and the other method is this is the test i will click on the test and here i will get the option view responses so when i click on view responses here i will get this kind of arrangement and names are hidden otherwise name would come if i click on the show names option and here too i can see suppose this uh, question this particular question is attempted by this student this student this student this student and this yellow indicate the partial marking done by me and this green indicate the correct answer and these disables indicate that the test has not been attempted by any student so this is the way we can see the responses of the students uh, other options here are we can export the grades by using this option we can uh, do the sorting on numbers a to z and uh, the one more thing i want to tell you uh, during assignation of the test we can assign the test to the guest students too so to assign the test to the guest student suppose you want to check some test uh, by doing yourself or by any other uh, who is not the member of your class you can do by using the guest option so if i click on the guest guest option and assign the test to the guest then it will generate this kind of code and we can code the uh, we can share the code with the guest student and uh, he will be able to do this test so friends this is the way to uh, see the responses of the students to make that uh, changes in the settings so that the students can see their score and can see the correct answers and how to assign the test to the guest students hope uh, you would like my video and in my next video i will discuss more features of the go formative uh, this is all for now thank you